All right guys, I'm Jeremy from Weld Tech Designs and I have a fun new product to show you guys and I'm gonna kind of be learning about it the first time and I'll tell you why the reason we're talking about this is because if you've watched any of the videos on here or over at Growing Up Garage, you know that this giant black trailer that we just thing is a tank, I am towing it all around, all around, all the time. And when I get home, I'm always having to find random blocks from my yard or whatever in order to put underneath the wheels so that this thing doesn't roll. When I go to unhook the motor from motorhome from it and I hook up the van to it and able to be able to park it in my driveway. I can't do both. I'm not that talented. My driveway isn't big enough and neither is my street. All right, and so what this is here is this is an RV camper and wheel stabilizer jack. Although this is not a camper or an RV, we have the dual axles in the back of this, so this should work perfectly because this is gonna lock between these two wheels. So I wanted to actually show you guys me using this for the first time so that if you have it, you can see how simple it is. We're gonna go ahead and unbox this thing and check it out and then go ahead and do this. I'm gonna go ahead and pull it away. Oh, so the first thing, it does have the tool to come with it, which is always nice. A lot of times, you get these things and they don't have the tools to come with it. So pretty cool. Let's go ahead and put this on there. And so it's going to open up fairly simple. So you're going to have that as a handle to hold it. We're going to go ahead and bring this in. One more turn. Go ahead and lock that. Dang, that's really easy. So you can see that as I do that, it's putting pressure on both wheels, which is gonna not allow these wheels to move. So that's pretty good pressure on there, as you can see that that's not really going anywhere. Um, I'm gonna have to tell you, um, that was really almost too easy. So I'm gonna pull the next one out. I'm gonna go to the other side and do that. And I do notice now that there, it looks like, you know, if you do have a 3 8 impact, you could actually just put that on there and impact that down. Um, let's grab an impact for the other side and see how that works. So on this side, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be using my Milwaukee 3 8 impact to open this up and snug it down. So as I pop that in there, so, really quick and simple. So now that these are both locked in place, I can go ahead, I'm gonna pull my motor home away, make sure see if these things do their job. All right, so I got the van hooked up to this thing, so I'm ready to move it. Uh, it didn't move at all. I'm gonna go ahead and loosen these things up so I can move the trailer. So back to this first side that we did with the wrench, I'm also gonna take it off with the um, the wrench and basically this is a ratchet wrench this is included in the box I'm gonna go ahead and take it off with this and you can see the trailer moving so it just moves that slightest bit because it's falling onto that ball getting in that happy spot right there so you can see that it virtually takes no time with the wrench so the impact really isn't necessary but I got one so might as well use it so I definitely like that. So definitely very simple, very easy to use, better than using the blocks that I, or rocks that I normally use. I like that. I will definitely um, be doing some follow-up videos um, and letting you know what I like about and maybe if there's anything that I don't like. Um, but I think that this would work great, whether it's just for, you know, locking your trailer wheels while you are switching vehicles or moving things around like I have to do, or if you're just storing your trailer, I mean, this would be a great alternative to rocks as well. And it's funny that I noticed this, that as I'm moving this stuff around, I'm looking at my neighbor's trailer. Maybe we'll just walk up there. They have a horse trailer with blocks underneath it. Let's go try putting one up there. Let's go see what it does. So a quick walk up the street and I, my neighbor happens to have a twin axle horse trailer up in there. Why not try it out and see how it works? Ah, let's try that. 
that's the only thing. So as I'm putting this on, I noticed this has the really nice looking fender flares. And as I'm putting it on, it got so tight that I couldn't get the impact gun out. So I definitely am going to say like, that's where that wrench is going to come in very useful. It's not going to do that even if you wanted to start it. But what would be nice, let's just, so you can see that, let me show you this guys. So this tire will not move. It's off the ground actually where it's sitting here. And you can see how that just moves freely and just with barely any pressure on this thing, it completely locked it in place and didn't allow it to move. So that's definitely going to be a plus. And you can see that this doesn't have a huge radius, so it's gonna fit a lot of different size tires. So I like that. And I'm gonna tell you one thing to notice that I've used this whole time, but let's talk about this. Just the grab handle on there makes installing this so much easier so you're not trying to like hold it and do it where you would possibly pinch your fingers so that is something else that i am totally liking on there so i'm pretty pretty happy so a super cool <laughs> product by epo artist this is nice i definitely like it i'll put the links all below to it so that if you're interested in it you can try it out otherwise maybe epo artist my neighbor's gonna need some of these as he's sitting over here watching us do this in his front yard. Maybe he needs a set of these too. I'll see you guys in the next video.